Okay, so the document I'm going to change using a template uh, is my guide, uh, the creation new explosion blog fast. This is the original ebook here that I'd written. It's an ebook, so it's not formatted as a book. What I've got open in the other window is <coughs> uh, a template for a 5.5 .5 by 8.5 inch book. On Create Space, it's a Create Space manuscript template, and you notice on the side there is only this much gap on the left side, and a bigger gap on the right side. On the next page, the gaps are reversed: a big gap on the left, a little gap on the right. This is because on this side here, this is uh, the fold of the book. Isn't that going to be an actual physical book? So what I do is, and at the start you notice there are blank pages, and that's because in a manuscript. You have to be printed, you need a few blank, two blank pages at the start, then your title page, and then copyright page, have the contents at a blank page, and then you start. What I show is the way I move um, the contents from an ebook into a template. So I start off, and I use Notepad as well, so I'll open that. Notepad. Right. Now, first of all, I go to uh, the first thing I need is yeah, the title. So I go here and Control C. And then normally I would go paste it in Notepad, copy it again, so it loses the format. But I actually like the uh, like the original font so I'll just try and paste it in here and hope it yeah and it messes it up a bit so you have to fix it again so new and the subtitle here copy it uh, this one I'll use the font here so in the notepad first control V Control A, Control C, then I'll replace this, so Control V, and it takes on the formatting that was already there. Uh, my name, I suppose I could copy it, but in this case I'll just type it in because it's quicker. Control V. Ah, this is the uh, copyright information, so it's these three bits of bold and I use a fairly standard one anyway, so it's probably the almost the same. Um, it's very similar. Control C, and then I highlight what I want to change here. And I paste this in. And in this case, it may work. It didn't. Control Z, so I'll go back again. So what I do is Notepad first, Control V, A, C. Then click back on this window and Control V. And it replaces what was there with what I just put there. So I'll take away some of these spaces so it fits in better and bold the bits that were supposed to be bolded. in terms of use. It's, it's virtually the same as what was there because uh, obviously the template was written by me and the and the book was written by me so table of contents there. We'll worry about that later. It's a, a pain in itself the table of contents. Uh, chapter 1 so we move over chapter 1 it's chapter 1 introduction which I'm pretty sure is there, okay, so although the title's the same in this case, I do it so you can see how I do it. Control C, Notepad, Control V, A, C, back on this window, Control V. There. Oh, I did it on the wrong window. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the template here, Control V. There, and it's done it in the typeface font it was in. Now, uh, the text, so I'll highlight the text. Um, I'll go back here, 
to get the start of the text. See, there's all sorts of format in this which I won't want. So what I'll do is, well, I kind of do want, but I can't have most of it. So I'll click at the end of the chapter, select the con text of the chapter, copy it into Notepad with it, Control V A C into the template. I highlight the first word there so as I've got the formatting then control V there and then it pasted in the text ah, just to be awkward I've actually pressed tab instead of using the indentation on the other one it's irritating um, and the next thing to do is remove these spaces see in an ebook you have spaces between each paragraph and in an actual book you don't and my mind's just caught up with earlier knowing that there was the words ebook in the yeah so I thought I saw it there now now we need to do the next chapter so or we can copy the format and if we're determined to go through I may as well just to do the full thing uh, curation that was bolded that word so here and we go control B and control I for italic as well uh, see what else was bolded and italic in it uh, understandable in my opinion there Ching. Understandable. yeah ah, the bloody screen move okay uh, there control B I what else in that chapter, probably not a lot. Uh, I promised and actually make it work. Okay. Uh, control B I. Actually make it work. B I. There. Actually, I'm going to take out a lot of this formatting. This is just to show you if I wanted it. But in actual fact, in a book, you generally don't want all these big, bolded, fancy words. It just looks tacky. Uh, the next step, if there were pictures in this chapter, I would copy the picture, come into the new one, and paste the picture where the picture goes, and then try and format it. So you end the chapter, so I go to the end of the chapter there. I go to... Where is it? I've forgotten what I'm doing. Uh, insert manual break. There. Page break. That takes us there to the next chapter. Ready to do the next chapter. So the first thing we go is to get our formatting for the chapter, keep things standard. We copy that in the first word. Control C. Ding, 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 ding. There. Control V. And I think it's added an extra space. Has it? No, it hasn't. Good. Okay. So then we carry on as we were. Back again. It's the same old thing. Chapter 2, how it works. Control C, then Notepad, Control V, A, C. Back to the template. Uh, highlight the title. Control V. Highlight that word ready. Then back we go here. Click at the start. Scroll through until we find Chapter 3. One's eaten chapter three. There's a picture in this chapter, so I'll there, control C, then notepad, control V, A, C. Back to the actual template, and the words highlighted, which I want to, so I'll keep the formatting. Control V, there. Now, ugh, I really wish I hadn't used tab when I wrote that book. There's a lot of formatting that will be, need to be redone. Um, I'll fix this first. Sometimes you wish you could reach back in time and slap yourself. Um, righty. Ah, John said. Uh, 
Uh, there's loads of words it doesn't like, like auto blog and auto blogs and things like that. It doesn't matter. Uh, they are correct. It's just it doesn't know the words. Now, um, various things I've got a bold in this, which in this case aren't necessary. There, standard blog, auto blog. There, creation. Down more. Uh, this was supposed to be a subheader, so I need to bold it, center it, and then remove the tab it adds for a new paragraph because that's a header. Here I've got spaces in. Uh, this is supposed to be a header of a section, a demonstration section. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll leave a double space above that to show it's the end of the section. Uh, yeah, control B. Now, down more. I'll leave a double space again to show it's the end of the section. Which is important in that, in that case. Uh, oh, see, that's sort of like a header, so I'll have it like that anyway. I edit out some of the boringness of this before uploading the video. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's the guys on it. Do, do, do. B. Uh, this is another header, so bold, center, back to start, and remove the extra paragraph it puts in there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's that one done. So now, what needs to be done is uh, first of all, go back to the original and check for links. Because of course links won't copy over, which is annoying. Such is life. If there's any links, I need to actually type the link out, as opposed to just having a clickable link. See, a lot of the bolded uh, making a point type thing from an ebook isn't necessary, that, but the picture is. So, there, copy, and that was in the I think the paragraph before last. It is yes. So now back into the book paragraph before last right here control V and now this needs to be moved into the correct position there now we gotta go back to the top and the pictures in there and we that isn't a blank page insert no it isn't good and we have to remove all the spaces unless there's uh, unless they're necessary I start with the subhead right. I usually leave the space in. Oh, there I'll leave it in. And here, this is an example of something on the internet, so I'll leave it as it would be. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. I chopped off the full stop there. Okay, insert manual break. And I think I've. Yeah. And at the end of it, once I go through, I will look and see which pages things will be on. And that's a separate problem. But uh, yeah, I'll add the page numbers. I do that in the PDF form and then I make a first PDF then come back and see where the chapters I've pasted all the chapter names in here ready though but I don't bother fixing the page numbers not until I've made the first PDF I make that add in the numbering system on the PDF it's very simple to do and then and I start the numbers going from the first page of the actual content then I come back here put in the chapter uh, numbers correctly and then make the PDF again and put the number in. It only takes a second to put the number in, so it's not a hard thing. I think I'll stop the video there anyway, because that shows you everything you need to know.